Hey, what's up? Have you heard of things like could have been better? That's an ordinary image, not sharp at all. The background is focused, but not the bird. Sounds familiar? Being a photography mentor for over 15 years now, I have been through instances where photographers show pictures that have a lot of things to improve in them. As with any art, photographers seek feedback to improve their skills and create better visual stories. Offering constructive criticism is an essential part of helping photographers grow and refine their craft. Apart from approaching the task with empathy, respect and tact to ensure the criticism is well received and beneficial, I have learned a few things that even I as a photo critic, judge or a mentor should incorporate as much as the learner should incorporate in their photography endeavor. So here are 10 things you should consider while being a critic to someone's work. The idea is to explore the art of criticizing someone's photographs, emphasizing constructive feedback that fosters growth and creativity. Number one, observe with an open mind. Before providing criticism, take the time to genuinely appreciate the photographer's work. Observe the photographs with an open mind, considering the emotions, composition, lighting, and subject matter captured. This step, allows you to understand the photographer's intent and perspective, fostering a more informed and empathetic critique. Number two, find the positives. Every photograph has its merits, no matter how amateur or experienced the photographer is. Begin the critique by highlighting the aspects you find compelling or well executed. By acknowledging the strengths, you build trust with the photographer and create a receptive atmosphere for further feedback. Number three, be specific and objective. Constructive criticism should be specific and objective rather than vague and subjective. Instead of saying, I don't like this photo, provide detailed feedback like the composition could be improved by adjusting the framing to avoid distractions in the background. Or something like, I think the colors seem a bit off. Could you please check the color temperature and tone on another monitor? It looks very warm, etc. Number four, focus on improvements. Well, the primary purpose of constructive criticism is to offer suggestions for improvement. Rather than dwelling on what doesn't work, focus on actionable advice that the photographer can apply to enhance their future work. Offering insights on composition, lighting, post-processing, or techniques that could elevate their photographs perhaps. Number five, use the sandwich method. The sandwich method is an effective technique to deliver criticism while maintaining a positive tone. It involves starting with a positive comment, following it with areas that need improvement and concluding it with another positive note. This approach ensures that the critique is well balanced and encourages the photographer to embrace the feedback. Number six, encourage self-reflection. While providing feedback, encourage the photographer to reflect on their work and consider how the suggestions align with their artistic vision. This empowers them to make their creative choices while incorporating the feedback to refine their skills. Number seven, respect their vision. Every photographer has a unique vision and style. As a critic, it is essential to respect their artistic choices even if they differ from your preferences. Offer feedback with the aim of honing their skills, not to impose your own artistic sensibilities. Be sensitive to emotions. Receiving criticism can be emotionally challenging for photographers who pour their heart into their work. Be mindful of your words and tone, ensuring that your feedback is well-intentioned and delivered with care. Avoid overly harsh or negative language that might discourage or demotivate the photographer. Also, think about the current level of the photographer. Imagine someone got their first picture of a bird on a perch and you're criticizing the photographer keeping your benchmarks in mind. Don't forget, the picture you're seeing could be the best the person has got so far. So be a bit considerate. Number nine, offer to collaborate. If the photographer is receptive to your feedback, offer to collaborate on future projects or share additional resources to support their growth. Creating a supportive environment and fostering a mentorship like relationship can be incredibly valuable for their development. Critiquing someone's photograph is an opportunity to contribute positively to their artistic journey. By approaching the process with sensitivity, respect, and empathy, you can help photographers grow, evolve, and refine their skills. Number 10. Remember where you were a few months ago. 
when you have been given the privilege to provide feedback or opinions on someone's photographs, it may help to realize you were exactly like this a few months ago. Be a bit kind. It's okay to say things like nice, lovely, before you say things like not exposed correctly, horizon is not straight, focus isn't right, etc. Constructive criticism is not about tearing down someone and their work rather than guiding them towards becoming better storytellers through their lens. Remember that each critique is a chance to inspire creativity and passion, making the journey of photography even more rewarding for both the critic and the photographer. Wouldn't it be great to think how we can be nice photographers and not only focus on becoming good photographers? I know we all have our ego. Appreciating others is a mental exercise that is really needed to keep our ego in check. Now, come on guys, start appreciating this video and post it or share it. <laughs> Take care.